Hey there, Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Wednesday, October 26th. Uh, today we've still got a moon in Scorpio. We're still in this energy, this uh, potency of the new moon yesterday and the solar eclipse that was, uh, was about 3 a.m. Uh, Pacific time yesterday or 6 a.m. Eastern time. And uh, I've been talking in these videos about uh, about the power and the potency of this Scorpio eclipse. Um, yesterday's video was just really about connecting with the Scorpio energy. So if you missed that, uh, you might want to go check that out. And on Sunday, I went more in depth about uh, the meaning of the eclipse and uh, the connection with Venus and feminine power and what's going on in uh, the collective and how we're shifting and changing and um, just lots, uh, lots to think about. And uh, today, I would say that we are really just kind of finding our wobbly legs as we uh, neg negotiate, navigate, navigate uh, <laughs> this, um, this Scorpio uh, energy. And um, it's, it's changing us from the inside out. It's stripping away illusion. It's reminding us of who we are and what we're capable of. And uh, that can be a little internally destabilizing because we like we like to know what's going on. We like to be in control. And that's not what this energy is about. So um, so finding our wobbly legs and letting ourselves be where we are. Right. Um, trusting that what is happening is exactly what needs to be happening and wherever you are in your process is where you need to be and just to remind yourself that hey this is what it looks like for me to be healing for me to be changing for me to be becoming the things that i truly imagine and dream and envision for my life and so um so th there's this human tendency to to want to reflect and say uh uh, you know, okay, well, here's some evidence that I'm not accomplishing what I said I was going to. Here's, here's, here's the failure that I can show as evidence that I didn't do X, Y, Z, or that I'm not capable of it because this didn't work out or that didn't work out, or I don't have time or uh, I don't have support or things don't feel right or whatever it is. We, we use that, ra the, the rationalizations, right? We rationalize that we uh, have excuses for not being powerful. And it's just to remind ourselves that, you know what? None of that matters. None of it matters. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter what you've been able to achieve so far. It doesn't matter that you're a, a hot mess right now. No, all of that is part of the process, right? When we remember that life is a journey, that's why time doesn't all happen at once. Um, that we are where we are and things are happening the way they're happening because that's where we are in the process. That's all it is. And this is what it looks like to be manifesting our greatest selves, our greatest creations, the things that we want in our lives. Um, and when you remember, here's a, here's a truly profound mystery thought when you remember that all things, all things exist now and you can tap into them through uh, feeling that in your, you know, do, can you remember something? Can you feel it in your body? Can you um, realize that there's love here, even, even though there's difficulty? Can you realize that uh, there are good people doing good things, even though they face uphill battles sometimes? Can you realize that love and kindness is available in every moment? Can you realize that your creative powers are available in every moment? These are some of the kinds of profound thoughts that we can connect with, um, with by taking advantage of this Scorpio energy and the moon being in Scorpio. So, um, so whether you get that or not, trust yourself, trust where you are, trust what you are becoming, trust that where you are right now 
it, does, it is absolutely no reflection on where you'll be tomorrow or next week or next year um, and what you're capable of creating, right? Things might, things might look darkest just before the dawn, but, but more to the point, is that this is what it looks like to be a human being and to be dealing with things that feel overwhelming sometimes. And how do you respond to that? How do you respond when you experience limitation? How do you respond when things um, seem uh, challenging or frustrating? So finding those resources within yourself to affirm, you know, that you are here that you are doing your best, that, that that maybe there's something you could do that hasn't occurred to you yet, that you are loved, that you have the ability to share love, that you have the ability to make a positive difference in whatever way that is in your life. And uh, showing up with, with creativity, with um, positive thinking when you can, right? Or at least the ability to recognize when you're having negative thoughts and uh, and uh, question them, you know, get curious. Why am I having that thought? Is that really true? You know, maybe there's something bigger going on here. So, um, so just some reminders about uh, what it can feel like when we're in the transformation process, which is what any Scorpio moon does, but this one is the new moon in Scorpio and it's an eclipse. So even more powerful in terms of the kinds of transformations that are possible. So finding our wobbly legs and being where we're at and recognizing that uh, that wobbliness will become more solid over time. But it's it actually represents the fact that we are changing we don't uh, necessarily feel comfortable. We don't feel in control all the time. And um, what does that look like? So, so trusting where you are, feeling your wobbly legs, letting them be wobbly, letting yourself be, uh, you know, that jello-y feeling where you need to, because that is what it looks like to transform. So what, what you are becoming is the mystery. And, uh, and here we are allowing that process to unfold. So thank you for being here. Um, thank you for, you know, if you want more insight information about the uh, eclipse from yesterday, got recent videos, like I said, yesterday's and Sunday's that went into more depth on what it means and how to work with it. And uh, there's a guided meditation that can support you uh, in working with this uh, Scorpio energy and making the most of it to uh, be your most powerful self and align with your truth. So that's what we're doing. We're planting seeds, setting intention for this moon cycle and, and for the bigger picture of what is truly important to us and getting down to those essential basics of what what is it that we are here to do as human beings and how can we share um, the things that bring magic and um, joy to our lives. So thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate it and I'd love to hear your thoughts um, and liking uh, these videos is really helpful. So thank you for being here and I will see you next time. If you're looking for more on how to work with me, check me out at astrologyheals.com. Uh, you can read books that I've written. You can schedule time with me. You can order a mini reading that can help you give, you know, get some quick insight into how current energies are showing up in your chart. And um, so I've got those things available at astrologyheals.com. Thanks again for being here. I will see you next time. Bye for now.